Hey guys, you're with Barry here, and uh, up close and personal, I'm with one of my buddies here over the last, uh, what, five or six years now, six right? Six years. Six years. And a good buddy of mine out in Rio San Juan is Alduino, and uh, I want to introduce you guys to him, because uh, many of you guys get to meet him when you're out touring with us. And uh, it's my pleasure to introduce a really good friend of mine. Nice to meet you, for all of you who are watching us right now. My name is Alduino, A-L-D-U-I-N-O. I have it here, right on my t-shirt. <laughs> Talk to the people on, on camera while I light a cigar here about a little bit about your history, about who you are, where you were born, things of this nature. First of all, I was born in Santo Domingo in 1977. Then I went to local school over there and I felt that I had to learn English when I was a child. And then I was watching in that, by that time, the Antiguos WWF, and I was watching those men fighting and talking each other. I didn't understand what they were saying. And that made me to ask my mom to send me to the English school to try to, uh, to understand them. And then that's when I went to American Dominican school in Santo Domingo and I started to learn. The first time I started to understand them, then I really got in love with languages. That was uh, was around nine years old. Then, well, what about, though you speak uh, obviously Spanish, English really well, what else? Then uh, when I went to Puerto Plata to my first job, I met Andrea School from Germany. Then I booked over there that's where I learned French and German. But I'm more fluently in German than any other language that I speak. Even more than English? More than English, because I got in love to the language. Oh. That's what it happened by that time. How long have you been in this region of uh, the North Coast? In our region where the folks come out and spend some time with us? Then I got back from Puerto Plata in 1998. Like when I met the cigar war, I started to smoke. I got in love with them. And some people who I talked to in that time, they told me, you need to prepare. You need to get ready to be able to have your own cigar. And I started to know to read Cigar Aficionado by Marvin R. Chaykin, and I got in love more with them. And then when I was, it was uh, when I was starting to smoke, to know different type of tobacco, then in the year 2000, that's when uh, my heart felt that I had to have my own cigars. Well, originally that's um, that's how we met was actually through cigars because you know yes. people that know DR Escapes know old Barry likes a good a good pool now and again. But uh, how did you come about? Now your partners in this store, right? Yes. This in real now you you have one partner or one partner. And so you're part owner of it, you're half owner, I guess, of it. How did this all come to play? Because uh, later on, guys, we, we're going to do a panoramic sweep from both directions. Um, legally, I, I don't get involved in, in publicizing, but I, I will say it's one of the finest selections. And, and uh, lots of our folks have picked up little trinkets and, and souvenirs and what have you. But, but for that small group of you guys and ladies that are cigar aficionados, you want to talk to the man because chances are what he forgot about cigars you never knew to begin with. Uh, he can out and out tell you what type uh, a Carrillo 93 or whatever is in this cigar and what they use to cure it to blend its flavor. By him asking you a few questions he will dovetail you to the near perfect taste or sabor that you like. And how did, how did this business come into play because it truly is a beautiful store. Tell us about how you started. Then in 2003, I left the company that I was working, that, that company disappeared, unfortunately, Campo Tour and Ola Felix. And over there, then in that year, I 
used to know Felipe, but not well, only by hello, hello. Then he told me one day to help him to sell a couple of things in the store. Then he told me that day, you have a lot of magic to sell cigars. Why don't you come and you join here in the shop? I was supposed to leave to Punta Cana, which I had a job already. They had gotten to me and I stopped the proposition over there in Punta Cana and I stayed here. Then I noticed by that time that over here, cigars, they were only a passion by that time by people who knew tourists and visitors, but people around here didn't know a lot about cigars by that time. That's when I got interested then to know more, to read, to know the factories, to know each one of the famous factories they are here in the country and all the qualities. A couple of years later, then I started to meet people who knew about it and they wanted to make the business to grow up. Then that's when Felipe and I got partners. How did you get to meet all these people um, in terms of the owners of these smaller, like, uh, I'm not allowed to advertise, but one of my favorites has got to be DBL. You know I love that. I you, love DBL too. Do You know I love that. Hardly known, and it's going to be known over the next couple of years. But, by the way, this is not one of your best. Anyway, just joking. But, by the way, you know, I, I, how did you get blended into that, that tightly knit community where the people that have for decades worked for Arturo Fuente or, or uh, you know, the gentleman who actually invented the Opus X, the famous Opus X cigar? Martin yeah, uh, how, how did How did you get to meet these kind of people? Then I was a tour guy. I had to go three times mm. a week to the cigar factories. I started going to La Aurora because that's the one that was allowed tourists to get in. Then one man came from America. His name is Frank, German-American, and he brought a letter, a special signed by Fuentes and General Cigar. And he told me where he could find a factory and I told him I know the area but they don't allow people to get in he told me no I have a letter he showed me the letter signed by General Cigar and Arturo Fuente for him to get in and then he told me he asked me could you come with me and I said yeah of course it's a privilege then I went there I met a couple of people that day and they told me, your, your English speaking is good. And I said, I speak all several languages. They told me, oh, you could bring your friends here whenever you want. And that's how I started to meet those people. And nowadays, we are friends, you know, and I could take people to any one of the factories, which are free trade zone, which means they make the products in Dominican Republic, but they don't sell it here in this country. We're going to finish our cigar off camera, but I want you to tell our viewers what's the best way they can reach you it's very easy because my email address is the easiest one ever to learn is Arduino find cigars at gmail.com and you could find me on Facebook Johnny Arduino Antigua and in my phone number which in the whatsapp you will see my pictures of cigars is 829-702-7220. Until next time, this is Barry Indiana.